you can't earn 100K. Like the year I earned 100K in wholesale real estate, it wasn't 100K fluid, right? And that's where like a lot of people get tripped up at with wholesaling real estate. It's a lot easier to earn 100K in corporate America and to like base your life out, uh, lifestyle off of that, right? Because you understand that if you earn 100K in corporate America, you're getting paid, what, 8,500 a month, 8,300 a month, something like that, right? Um, I told you, you got to know the numbers. You're really doing it, you know the numbers. 83K or 8,000 a month is like 96K a year. So like 8,300 a month is a real 100K salary. You're able to base your lifestyle off of that because you understand that no matter what, you clock in, you clock out, you get paid $8,300 a month when it comes to you being a corporate America nine to five person. If you a stepper out here, you know what I'm saying, a big stepper, big hustler, wholesaling real estate, uh, or even if you're a real entrepreneur, if you don't have a business and you're self-employed, like a business should be ideally more, uh, ideally it should be more level with, you know what I'm saying, what you're doing. But when you're wholesaling real estate, a lot of the times, bro, if your shit is not in order, it can be sporadic as far as how much you get paid and how often you get paid. I gained my 100K year. I earned like 50,000 in like two months. You feel me? So you earn 50,000 in two months and then the rest of it is like, you know, a couple months not earning nothing, 5,000, then 6,000, seven. So you get what I'm like, that can probably, you probably understand what I'm saying. Like it's, it's good. Don't get it. I know that may sound like, you know, Fifty thousand too much, like that's that's what's up. Like, I can I can live with that, but it's like, yo, you earn a fifty k in two months. It's like that you don't understand the 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 mental fortitude and just the emotional stability that you have to have because that means that prior to that fifty k in two months, there was only a month with five k, and then it was two months with none, and then maybe another month with ten. But that's where I've learned to like really regulate shit and to really get it back in order, and that's where I'm at now with shit. So. If you're able to sit back and, and level up your wholesaling process, create a plan, stick to it, scale it up, bro, you won't quit because there'll be no reason to. The reason why I stopped is that, well, I really got it invested into music and I, I, I stopped remembering that what bring the money in, you know, like I said, I was in South Florida. I'm enjoying the scenery. I'm loving the scenery. I'm enjoying this lifestyle, but I had to remember what brought me the lifestyle. That's wholesaling real estate. Like everything that I have, in my life is due to wholesaling real estate. Even with you being in here watching this right now, if it wasn't for me wholesaling real estate, you wouldn't be here. And not just because I'm talking about it, but because that's what put me in position to be here right now talking with you. And it's a blessing. It really is a blessing. Like it's just that you have to work with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Don't fall into the trap. All right. I just pre I really just went in on that, bro, because that's so hard. Like that's something really real. So to go back into what has changed since I've been in the game. When it comes to wholesaling real estate, the biggest thing that I say has changed is really just being able to, to man, I, I put this question down before I got on here. I didn't say anything. What has changed with wholesaling real estate since I've been in, in the game? Guys, not much has changed with wholesaling real estate since I've been in the game, to be honest with you, man. Not much has changed. Like, it's really all been the same. Um but right before I got into wholesale real estate, people were telling me that I should have been in in like 2012 or like 2011, right after the 2008 financial crisis. They were like, man, if you were in it during that time, you would have got so many. Da, 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 da. The biggest thing that has changed is that I've seen, I'm going to answer this question. The biggest thing that's changed since I've been in wholesale real estate from six years ago to now, 2018 to 2024, is home prices. Home prices in areas when I started, and I was like, this area ain't nothing. I'm talking about, I may have got a deal for $5,000 and just left. Uh, $5,000 and just like, next thing you know, I'm like, all right, it's $5,000. You know, I sell it at $6,000 or sometimes it doesn't even sell. My point is deals were struggling to sell in certain areas. Now it's like, if you got that same deal for $5,000, bro, you're about to be selling it for $7,000. And that's just over a six year period. So the biggest thing that I learned and took away from that is ownership. Ownership is my next play. It's the only reason I'm wholesaling real estate, bro. Get your reason why. I've talked about it before. Like, you know, have your reason why we're wholesaling. But have, know your reason. Know why. Know why. Know why. You hear about it all the time. But the fact remains, bro, you got to know why you're wholesaling real estate because it, it's the difference between I'm just cold calling. Somebody just like, man, I'm just cold calling because I'm cold calling, right? I'm cold calling. I'm just cold calling. It's the difference between I'm cold calling to cold call versus 
I'm cold calling because I'm getting one step closer to owning a real estate property. You're going to be so much more motivated if you understand your bigger vision. You understand exactly why you're doing what you're doing. You're not doing what you're doing just to get a check. You, you're doing what you're doing to, to gain a property. And that property leads to, to legacy. It leads to being able to pass it down, pass it along, build up equity. You take the equity out, maybe invest in another property. Once you become more clear on why you're doing what you're doing, it'll really help with wholesaling real estate, bro. I, I promise that. So the biggest thing, if you don't take nothing away from the stream, man, I really had to hop on here because we're about to hop back into the real estate wholesaling tip. I really wanted to, like like I said, life been, you know what I'm saying? It's been, it's been good. It's been really good. And it's been good, but it's been one of those things that's surprising because wholesaling, bro, like I was, I'm a, I'm, when I really tell y'all the story about these last couple of months, man, it's going to be like, it's going to be wild because it's it's really, it's been, it's been, it's like a movie. It's really been like a movie. Like this year has been like a movie. It's, it started off so crazy. And then the way it's ending, it's like it made up for everything else. And it's like, it's just, it's crazy. But I'm excited to give you all the story when it comes. Um, when it comes to my, my biggest thing out there, I know somebody might be watching this. You might be like, you know, what the hell is wholesaling real estate? I should have started with that. What is wholesaling real estate? You might be watching this and be thinking, what is wholesaling real estate, right? Basically, it's when you take one property, the contract to the property, you get it under contract, you watching this, you get the property under contract with somebody else, right? When you get that property under contract, you then turn around and assign that contract to another investor. That investor is the person who buys the rights to the contract. They're not buying the property from you. And you really have to be careful with that. When I first started, I was I used to say, um, hey, I have this property on 123 Main Street. You know, hey, Dave, I got this property on 123 Main Street, just seeing if you're interested in selling it. Dave would be like, no, nah, I don't want to sell it. I don't want to buy it, right? Uh, in 2020, because I started in 2018, um, got my first deal in 2019. 2020, towards the end of 2019, they really started cracking down on people saying that you got the deal versus you got the property. So you got the contract. That's what people say. You got the contract. You can't market the actual property itself. You got to market the contract. So... Anyway, with that, we market the market the contract. What I say is, hey, Dave, we have a deal on 123 Main Street. You want to say we have a deal on 123 Main Street versus we have a property because you don't have a property. You have a contract, a deal. So stuff like that, bro, there's so many small nuances with wholesaling real estate. If you want to learn more, stay tapped in. I'm, I'm not going to rerun this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really come back and, and chop it up with y'all about wholesaling real estate because the opportunity it provides is really, I mean, it's, it's, none, it's, it's really unmatched, bro. Like, there's not too many things that will allow a young a young person who who just starting off with hustle. Like I told you, you got to have one of four things. It's not a, too much that can allow a person to start off with hustle. It really provides a, a blueprint to gain some money, right? And then that money leads to assets. You literally have the golden opportunity right now. All right, I'm going to leave y'all with this. Wholesaling real estate is only available to us. When I say us, specifically myself, and myself meaning like an inner city black kid growing up, I had to throw all of that in there because I learned about wholesaling real estate on my breakfast club, which is why it's always been important for me to discuss wholesaling real estate, the opportunity of it to bring it forefront because it's through a pop culture medium that I ever learned about it, right? If it wasn't for the breakfast club, I would have never heard about wholesaling real estate. That's insane to think about, right? But what's even more insane is that our parents, most of our parents are at least 20 years, maybe, right? 20 years older. Actually, my mom's not, but, <laughs> but um, <laughs> point is, most of our parents were maybe born, you know, 80s and beyond, right? 80s and beyond, if you're watching this. In the 80s and beyond, them growing up, they didn't have the same access to opportunity that we have. Our parents, our grandparents, heck, some some of your cousins maybe even watching this, right? They didn't have the same opportunity to access that we have, opportunity to knowledge that we have. If you're not taking advantage of the time that you have in this moment, you don't recognize how lucky you are. You're lucky to be born in this time because you have opportunity, access opportunity that your parents and grandparents could only dream of. The only reason I know about wholesale real estate, again, is through a pop culture medium. If it, it was the breakfast club. The Breakfast Club is the only reason I know. I would have been a college dropout, college football dropout, working at them 
a detailer. Actually, I would have never been that. I don't know what I would have been. My point is, this would have never been my life. What I'm doing never would have been what I'm doing. The freedom that I have, the, the certain pleasures that I enjoy in my life would have never been possible if I never heard of it through technology. So you watching this through technology, us being able to have this conversation, make sure that you take advantage of this opportunity by simply being able to, to, to give it a shot. If you feel like you don't have anything to do in this life, if you don't want to live a normal life, if you feel like you you're you know you don't want to live a normal life, to me that's what I always felt. 